So where do you like to go for dinner when you're out for the evening? Well, our Vancouver Eagle News correspondent, Kathleen Cruz, tried this. She decided to pop in to a pop-up restaurant. Pop-up dining experience is now becoming a trend that focuses on creating intimate private dining experience for diners. If you don't know what pop-up dining is, here in Surrey, British Columbia, a Filipino chef is delivering as a delicious Filipino modern team dining experience. Dinner is served here at Lyra Lu Bake Shop. What normally is just a bake shop, tonight it is transformed into a pop-up restaurant. Chef Andrew Vargas and bakery owner Lyra Lu Maranao are redefining Filipino dishes into unique, sumptuous, fine dining meals. Uh, I grew up eating Filipino food and it's something I really like, but I feel like there's a bit of a barrier uh, for Filipino food to come into North America. And what I wanted to do is break that barrier by making food that is something that people recognize and are familiar with, but just mixing that Filipino like cuisine into there. Asked about how he came up with the Filipino modern menu, Chef Andrew says intimidation has no room. I kind of just look at some of my favorite Filipino foods, and I, I try to think of a way that I could uh, make it so it's a you know like a very modern version of it that you know people uh, won't be overly intimidated by and that's pretty much how I got inspired by doing this menu is just taking Filipino ingredients or Filipino recipes and then merging them two together and you know having something that is you know traditionally Filipino food is more of a family one pot meal kind of thing so we kind of wanted to do something different and make it a nice a la carte or a single plate kind of thing. Ready to learn how Tor invent traditional Filipino food? Chef Andrew and Lyra turn some of the favorite home-cooked Filipino meals into something fancy. What I have a uh, crispy pasta or crispy pork belly. Uh, what I did was I, I steamed it for about four hours and then baked it in the oven for about 45 minutes. So it's cooked all the way through and so when you fry it, it's got a really nice, crispy, fluffy texture to it. Not too dense and it's got that crunch when you bite into it. And then we have our sauce, which is like a um, palabok. So what I did was I did a roasted pork bone and uh, prawn stock. I reduced it down with some anato seeds and then hit it with some cream to cut all that saltiness of it. And that'll be our sauce. This is one thing I actually wanted to do for quite some time. Put the Filipino food more in the spotlight. You know, everyone knows Filipino food is good, but we wanted to make it in a way where it can be an elegant fine dining experience. So this is cassava. It will be the um, deconstructed uh, base for our mousse. This is uh, ube halaya. So basically ube roots um, uh, braised in coconut milk and sugar condensed milk. So it's going to be uh, buko pandan mousse cake. Um, how is the food overall? Uh, 1 to 10. I think 11. How is the experience? It's very unique taste. Uh -huh. Yeah. Unique. unique. Yeah. Unique. And delicious. Else, Delicious and nutritious. <laughs> Chef Andrew says melting together culinary worlds to create modern Filipino food without compromising the cultural identity of the Filipino taste is not easy. But the challenge is always so inspiring. You know, it's really tough. Uh, I feel like a lot of chefs uh, have a hard time breaking that barrier. Uh, you know, introducing the Filipino culture to North American. Uh, so for me, this was even a bit of it was a bit of a challenge for me as well. Uh, but I just wanted to do something that was not overcomplicating or confusing, and that both Filipinos and Canadians will both recognize and enjoy. Yeah, that's pretty much like my 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 goal for this whole pop up dinners. I would say my inspiration is just to get that Filipino food out there. Like let people know that. 
you know, we have some really good food, and it's not just something that you eat out of a big pot around the table. It's something that can be very elegant, very tasty, and you know, I want it to be an experience that some, though, you know, I want them to taste something and be like, what is that? I've never tasted that before, right? So that's like one of my goals. From Vancouver, Kathleen Cruz, Eagle News, One with 25.